Hi all. This video we are going to discuss about how machine learning will be needed in robotic process automation. When we talk about machine learning, so what is the need of machine learning in robotics? So first thing is or else our first need for machine learning is see when bot has deployed when robotics bot has deployed in production the normal bots or robots need support which means somebody needs to watch manually if bot stopped somewhere or else some VDA disconnectivity happens or else some of the unhandled exception happened or else some of the object cloning issues will happen or else some of the control has been changed in dynamic status so in all the scenarios the support team has to be handled for the situation of the robots the issue has to be fixed then bot has to run again so this is the cycle it's happening see when uh, suppose think about that you are creating created a bot or robot that has been they are planning to handle 10 years for their automation or else 15 years in all those 15 years somebody or some support team has to or else COE team has to handle all the issues or else they have to support they have to work with the bot so in that case manual intervention intervention of the 50 percentage needed for the every each and every robot so when we talk about machine learning it will impact or else it will help RPA to improve think about that some unhandled exception happening inside the bot so that bot is terminating uh, the process and bot has stopped so in that case if we added machine learning or else our intelligent quotient parts inside that how it will work if it bot uh, terminating somewhere it has to automatically it will read the bot status if bot status stopped then automatically um, that that ml or machine learning bot will start in rpa bot so or else the if we can tell some algorithm uh, oh but this is the one you had the issue with that this is the particular area or else the particular application has issue so probably you if it is the this type of issue comes you have to wait half an hour then again you have to start and deploy the bot so this kind of things we have to give into machine learning or ml bots so how machine learning will work all about the experience so you can tell this is the issue if this issue comes suppose in support team if you give the support team to the rpa you have to give the documents if this issue comes you this is the release note if this issue comes this is the release note so the team has to, if this issue comes you have to write this query or else you have to delete the sql query this type of SQL. so you have to be give the some of the details into support team in manual intervention of the man if you have machine learning machine, you, you give the algorithms based on that it will work learn from experience so machine imitating and adapting human like behavior like human it's also will imitate and it will give you a solution which means it's learning from experience so it will it will watch and learn 20 days it will learn something and it will imitate like us so how exactly if you have give the 
things 3 3 is of 9 so in that case go 4 8 9 9 and sir 81 it automatically get the experience based on that so this is what learn from experience so how machine learning algorithms will work so algorithms are already available in the path algorithm or else some other adaptive algorithms so already available in 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 machines or else in our coding so we have to simply take the code and give the learnings so that's all all the models of the equation so when we talk about types of machine learning you have to be supervised and unsupervised learning what is supervised learning it will learn from experienced so whatever you give the kins based on that it will do if you never give the kins then probably it will fail out that is supervised learning what about the unsupervised learning if you if you give if you give kins it will work on it if you doesn't give kins that also it will work out with some other learn from experience option that is unsupervised learning so when, when we talk about supervised learning that is all about classification so the classification is it's used to for predicting the response so if you talk about whether India will win or lose a cricket match, whether an email is spam or genuine, win, loss, spam, genuine are the free defined classes. So if you give the free defined classes based on that output will fall out in the depending input. So th these all, all come under the classification or else regression. This is one of the part of the supervised learning. So when we talk about regression in supervisor learning, that is all about our continuous response. So it, it means, response means, if you talk about market or global uh, net market, everything it will, it will, it will learn from experience. Today it will reduce or increase. So or else whatever the yeah, weather forecast, everything will be the regression regression trainings will happen based on the response so when we talk about unsupervised machine learning it's all about a finding relationship within data so unsupervised means its relationship within data if you go if you go give the data uh, suppose you are giving the data that uh, uh, you are running the 10 bots uh, you are uh, what are all the input you are giving into the all the 10 bots this is the data so it, it will take the data and it will find out the relationship within the data it's all about unsupervised learnings so when we talk about unsupervised learning the main thing is cluster analysis cluster is all about if you if you have known the SQL server the cluster is all about if you have the server same setup of the cluster or else uh, glass type of servers are available it is a completely data analyzed so when you talk about uh, machine learning how it will how you can see that so supervised uh, regression techniques here you can see your google your google i uh, i google or else siri apple siri or else your medical diagnosis you medical diag if you give the medical report it will diagnose and, uh, and give the uh, and give the uh, output so these are all come under machine learning so when we comes machine learning the rps properly it will developed in the proper manner without the manual intervention thanks guys thanks for watching this we can see in next video